Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Shoot, is here finally. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Yes, sir. You already know from the title, we got the new controller. Hopefully, you're enjoying this cringy little, you know, um, um, forgot what it's called. We already know, like the cutscene thing that I'm doing. I got a new tripod, so I'm going to use it. So, yeah, we're going to use it, but let's get straight to opening this package. I need a knife real quick. Hold on. Yeah, super cringy. <laughs> but yes, so the new controller, as you already see from the damn title, it's uh, the new PlayStation um, Edge controller. And low key, I think this is game changing. Even if you don't use, um, what's it, what is it called, um, paddles and stuff, because it's just definitely worth it. Bro. Like, not only that it is like good for pad um you know the uh, paddles and stuff you also get to be able to change your analogs whenever you want to yes so that means when you get your analog drift and all that stuff when your your, your stick just moves by itself you could just replace it for the cheaper and i know you know 20 dollars cheap for the controller but 20 dollars to change out the analogs ain't cheap either but definitely better than buying you know 60 dollars 60 dollars 60 dollars over and over when after you know you purchase this one time and if you take good care of it you probably don't have to do that uh, i just want to take this out this sleep thing hold on that type far come come a little closer one two three yeah i don't know what you don't gonna happen i'm not a good editor yet as you can see <laughs> but yeah let's get straight into this um opening and oof yes guys this is the main reason why i bought this control i'm not even gonna lie to you and it is for the case as you already see from the title also, I am a pro player, you know, this is a, pro, uh, a review by a pro player, you know, see if it's worth it for y'all. And literally, I think this case is just everything. Obviously, you could go buy yourself a cheap case and all this stuff, but I just like the, com the compactor, how it is. And then, you know, you have you can um, equip all your stuff in here and probably even extra stuff if you really wanted to. And I think a case is just really needed if you're a competitor, you know, if you're traveling around you need a case do not put that controller in your bag and stuff because it can cause drifts um stick drift and any other issues with your controller you know pouncing around throwing your bag around get you a case and playstation definitely delivered with this one guys Oof, got this beautiful controller now why does it have this i have no clue i i think this is not needed <laughs> But here we go. The first change you see off rip is that the touchpad kind of changed. You see it has like embezzlements of the X squared triangle X um, circle, I mean, <laughs> uh, on the touchpad. Um, also, you have the F FN buttons, uh, which, you know, people at first when they saw it, they're like, whoa, what's that? What is all that? Um, pretty much what you could do is you could change your volume on like your headset and stuff when you plug it into the PS5. Uh, I'm also going to do some features for the PC to see what you can and cannot use. Like, for example, um, not only can you change volumes and stuff with these buttons, um, but they also are like profiles. So you can change it so you can set a certain profile for every game. So you don't have to keep reverting your controls back and forth. But you can just hit a button and then swap your profile and go right into it. Um, the next thing we notice is that we have the trigger stoppers, right? I think that's what they're called pretty much. Pretty much you can change um, like how far down you want your... Um, your L2 and R2 to go down and then the final one is like the most intense one and I'm not gonna lie um because I do come from a scuff yeah I used to um have scuff controllers and stuff well my last controller was actually a scuff um but these feel better than the digital touch so at least for me the digital touch the digital uh taps are peak as in you know as soon as you touch it it, it like it like um you know it's active but it felt very stiff I guess you could say and felt not normal and uncomfortable you know when you press it you know you want to have some type of pushback but what they did are they literally taps like as soon as you touch it it doesn't really move and it just felt very uncomfortable you know pressing it in the real game this is like stiff but like it gives still gives me that lenient kind of like you press the button type of feel and i think this feels way more and i might be playing on this setting to be honest because you know if you're a competitive player you know you don't need to hold your control all the way down you know i think the only game makes a difference is driving games but yeah 
but it's time to get into the main reason of the controller at least for me and that is the paddles yes guys paddles are just i don't know it is everything to me man it, it just makes stuff that feels so um not accessible accessible like for example you know how keyboarders have you know 100 keys and they still can play about controller or name assist <laughs> this like gives you that open where it's like okay i have an extra two buttons and other other um modern controllers are, there's four paddles but you know i have an extra two buttons i could just have my fingers ready to go to press you know and i think that is amazing so for example when you're playing choose and stuff you know you do this and stuff and instead of you know using your paddles for buttons like this you know because your fingers can reach there pretty fast now i can abuse my d-pad you know if they allow you to do that four buttons and it's like an extra button in the back for me and i think that's awesome but here are the four well two paddles of two different versions of what you can do you can have your normal paddles which are you know pretty much like how scuff and stuff and then do it or you can have your quote unquote what i call like a cinch controller or a what's another controller that does this cinch damn there's another controller but pretty much have like a button like they're just buttons and i'll pretty much call this like your little button type of um paddle and all it does is goes right in the back here this will be my first time doing this so uh yeah let's see how easy it is um is that in oh that's in okay that was wow you just push it in and that's it oh wow that was pretty easy all right they're not too bad they feel a little weird because i'm used to you know a button that push in or like paddles that kind of like feel like they hover over the controller this feels feels something hopefully i put it in right it feels a little i'll say like bad but just a little weird for me i guess you just gotta get used to it so people that are trying it for the first time you know it's gonna be normal for them because you know it's their first time using paddles but people that use like cinch controllers or scuffs or that other brand that's a third brand but i can't remember it but yeah gonna have to get used to it but yeah these are pretty easy you don't even have to put your fingers here you can have your fingers here so they don't even bother you and stuff yeah you don't feel the fn buttons you can kind of i guess you kind of bump them but at the same time you won't feel them type stuff you have your you know your hand firmly at a certain distance but even then having them hover isn't too bad but let's go into the other side and let's see how the normal paddles one is supposed to be so again you're supposed to just line this piece up to i guess this right here and then them and then the same thing for this one you just turn it this way go like that ah see this is what i'm used to you see how it's like that where it kind of just hovers over the controller this is what i'm used to ah see okay this feels a little bit more at home like i said it hovers and stuff i like this idea though i really do um because it's like less out of less out of your way like i said because like when, when it's here y your finger has to be here like there's there's no holding your hand like this trying to play it's there so you have to hover over it and just you know get used to not pressing it by accident this one feels like if i don't feel like using it i can just move my hand away from it for a little bit and then use it and then yeah and then also uh, i'm pretty sure you don't have to use it as in for example so let's say you're playing right and then you feel like you only use one and you don't want the other one and you just pop it off but like, you only can use one pad if you really want to and you just play like that i like this actually yeah i like i like this i thought i was gonna enjoy this more because i actually started not to really enjoy paddles um like these because i just feel like they never press the right way i started to be a big fan of like buttons that kind of feel like they're they're supposed to be there but for some reason this just didn't fit with me um you know currently but i'm so happy that they you know have the idea of giving you two options and stuff and then again i wouldn't be surprised if people make um third party version of these so you know you have more options and i hope they do because literally if people you know 3d 3d printers and all that stuff because all this is is just a little piece you know once they make this little piece right here whatever they add to the you know opposite side it could be whatever there's no you know machinery no electricity nothing in here it's, it's just a button to press what's ever inside here so i am very i'm gonna be doing my research actually if i if i find something i'm gonna post it right here for y'all to see third party um version of these so y'all can use it or you know analog and stuff it's gonna happen and i can definitely see it happening but i think we're gonna go to the ps5 actually let's go to the pc because i'm pretty sure a lot of people have already seen ps5 videos so i'm gonna go to the pc first and see what the difference is or what you can and cannot use and then at the ending i'll do some ps5s for y'all just in case for the people that you know are interested oh guys before we actually go 
I just learned that these are supposed to go in a certain way. As in like, one side is for left and one side is for right. And you can change it if you want to. Like for example, now as you can see, they're kind of like upwards and downwards. So now you can kind of have it to where you don't need to press the buttons. And then, you know, if you want to, you can still press the buttons. This is kind of cool. Maybe that's what I did with the smaller ones. Let me, let me play around with the smaller ones. Maybe that's why I felt weird because of how I had it. Wow, I did not notice that. Okay, so this is like this. Okay. Now let's swap it from the other side. Or will they just probably be the same? They probably feel the exact same. They feel the same. Never mind. I'm, I'm stupid. But but the longer ones, they definitely are different. Because um, there's actually a little sign right here that says, if I could show y'all, you, you probably can't even see it. But pretty much, it says RB, and then it says RB here. So you can literally have it to where it's up and down like this. Which I think it... You know, might open some I uh, ideas for people that, you know, sometimes don't want to use it or when they slowly get used to it and not press it by accident. Or, you know, you could just do it the normal way how it's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, from the left, right, where it's supposed to be from the sideways like that. That's dope. I actually like that. Bro, I'm telling you, there's going to be so many cool third parties with these stuff, man. <sighs> That's going to be gas. I'm not going to lie. All right. We got to do the first test because I got to see how conveniently good this is. I just, I just have to. I mean, it's obvious, but I, I still have to try it. Pop it open and go. Boop. <laughs> I just wanna try, I just wanna try. Alright, alright, let's go into it and see what you can and can't do. Uh let's open up that beautiful <gasps> multiverses. Oh, another thing. I found one bad thing about this actually. Like it's actually terrible. Like for people that rush like myself, so all gamers, um, you have to know how to um you know, rewrap your um controller the proper way not not the circle you know when you wrap it around yourself and then you put the hole in it yeah because uh then then you get something that looks like this and it just looks ugly and it doesn't look cute anymore um but other than that everything else 10 out of 10 that though give like a give like a 6 out of 10 like come on you could have made this a little a little deeper you know just a little the pouch a little bit bigger and it would have been fine but it is what it is all right let's go um because uh, the, the, all we're really doing is testing out the, um, the, what is it, the function key, yeah, because I want to see if the function key is even possible to be used on PC. Um, it may take me a while to do that, but we're going to do that. Um, also, um, I didn't show y'all this in the, you know, when I was back over there, but you can have two different, you know, paddles in at the same time, if, you know, if you didn't know, so you, you can have it like this. I just want to show that this is possible, so, you know. <laughs> all right but let's actually get into like how do you even change the stuff um because i actually don't know how to change the stuff and i should probably go look at that book i don't know where that book is but let's see what buttons it is um default wise did my audio just change my audio just changed that is one thing i would say that i just hate about controllers why did they do that why did they just decide to take over your your audio um uh, let's go to the lab all right these buttons are defaulted probably by x and square Oh, they don't work at all right now. Okay. All right. Oh. Um. Oh no. Please tell me this is this is not messed up on PC. So, um these don't work, right? As of right now, I really hope there's a fix for it. But these work. I, I really, I really hope. Oh dear, let me go get the manual. Okay, I am so happy that I made this video. If you, and I'm doing it as a, like a pro perspective. So, you know, for the people that are really considering buying this controller, I hope you're still watching because if you want this controller to work on PC, you need a PS5 or at least a friend with a PS5 because the only way for these buttons to work and for these to be profiles is you have to actually have a PS5 and go set them properly and then come back to your PC and then it will work. So I guess we're gonna go do the PS5 version real quick, then come back. <laughs> All right, we are back and this is how you set it up. So pretty much what you gotta do is you gotta make your custom profile, you know, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it Fort, even though I don't play Fort. But yeah, so what you do is that. 
Uh, I'm not sure if these will save because, you know, I think this is just more of the PS5, you know, um, features inside the system. Um, but all you gotta do is go to your, your system and you just change it to whatever you want. So, for example, I'm gonna have this as, like, I think, what, I think one of us that uses that for editing and stuff. And then another one I'll use is probably, like, the right stick, I wanna make, say. And then, you know, obviously those change to um, all my things, like, edit. Um, build, uh, yeah, edit mode and thingy. So after that, you just apply to it, and then when you back out, you have to assign it to whatever you want, which is your um, function key. So now when you do it, is you just hit this button and then X, and then it should just switch to it. All right, we are back, guys. So now, either or button doesn't matter what you do. But pretty much, um, your first one would be press this button and then triangle, and that's your default. As in, these won't work at all. Um, I even tried it on the PS5. Default means paddles are just you know, it doesn't work at all. Um, but then you have your, you know, your second profile, which you just hold again and you press circle. And now we have um, new controls, as you can see. Now I'm just hitting the back button and it does stuff. Um, I forgot what I think this one too, but as you can see, it's not a button that's usable. <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta remember what button I use, but as you can see now, X is on the back. Oh, this is circle, this is circle, okay. Now we have the next paddle, which will be my MVS one uh, when I fix my settings, but pretty much I emote now because it's on my D-pad and yeah. And then the final one, of course, is, you know, FN square. And then, you know, same thing. I have some stuff on. And yeah, pretty cool. Um, the only thing is, is this, again, you just want to make sure you set your profile before. Because as you can see, <laughs> these are active still. Um, this is jump and this is square no matter what. Um, again, you don't even want to use these or should ever use these. So it doesn't matter. But yeah, all you got to do is hit this button and then press any of these four to change your profiles. And you can do that on the PS5. But once you bring it to the PC, you're all set in stone and then you can start playing. All right. It's been a few days. I'm not going to lie. This is the controller. This is the forever controller. I've never been so certain about a controller ever since then this one. This, this one's it, guys. Like... The paddles are amazing. It does a good job. Um, you know, like I said, the analogs, if it ever gives you any problems, you literally can just change it out whenever you want to. And then the awesome about the whole profile thingy where, you know, you do FN triangle, it makes it, you know, nullified as it doesn't work anymore. You can change it to two, three, four. So that means you have three different profiles where you can customize it for a certain game. And then again, if you don't want to use paddles, just turn it off. Um, also works on PC, like I said, the only thing, um, you know, obviously you need a PS5 or you need a friend with a PS5 to, you know, do your, um, your buttons. And then other than that, you're set in stone, man. Like this, this thing is great. I love it. Um, you know, it makes combos and stuff easier on this game for me. Um, obviously, you know, paddles are more for shooters. So, you know, for jumping, dodging, dodging, <laughs> sliding and stuff is great. And it's just amazing, bro. Like, ugh. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm, and, I, and I'm keeping the same momentum. I keep that full momentum as I go by just pressing one button and turning around. Oh, it's, it's just amazing. And then like I said, remember, these suckers pop off. So if you're not enjoying this type of, um, you know, analog, you could just add another one that they have on. And then I'm telling you in the future, there are going to be other type of analogs that you could just pop off and put in. Um, obviously, um, I did some research, uh, sadly right now, I didn't really see anybody that took up the, you know, the responsibility of making third party parts to it yet, but I promise you within another few months, we're going to see those third parties we're going to get different analogs, we're going to get different type of paddles. Cause like I said, with the paddles also very easy to pop off as you can see. And you know, all they gotta do is make this part. They gotta make a rep replica of this part and then add whatever the hell they want on this back part. That's it. That is literally it guys. And yeah, this, this controller is worth it, I promise you. Um, but that's it for my review for the PlayStation 5 Edge controller, you know. Tell me if you like it. Um, if you do give it a chance, tell me if this video, um, you know, you know, persuaded you to get it. And yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything. Comment if any questions you have. And, you know, I'll try my best to um, answer it into the, you know, the replies. And for some watching my videos, you do enjoy it. Subscribe with guys, and I'm out. Peace. She got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Home to LA, cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.